in every sense, it's not going to happen. It's only talk. What we need to do in the opposition is to really unite, Hello? to fight the forces who are dividing us. Dividing us in every way. Otherwise, India is from Jammu and Kashmir to right down to Tamil Nadu, from Maharashtra all the way to Japan. That is what India is. ஷாத்பாக for seeing the beauty of the nature in every culture. That is what we need in India today. We need to see. You just heard Kerala Chief Minister, you heard the Minister from Tamil Nadu, how they are economically being deprived. How is the country going to progress if the state is deprived of their finances? I was hearing the other day Tamil Nadu MP speaking in the house about the cyclones they have and not a single funding has been done to help them out with that thing. When in government's funds are not theirs only to decide. The tragedy is that gradually and gradually and gradually we are going into a position where there will be one country with the one party only that will last. Which is going to be tragedy for this nation. See, I am from Kashmir. Kerala Chief Minister spoke in his language. I could not understand it. But that is the glory of this nation. They cannot understand my language. But what unites us is the power of understanding that we cannot move forward unless we are in a different it is this what we are fighting for. We are not fighting to be because they are in power. We want our rights, nothing else. We do not want their kingdom. We do not want their power. What we want is what is our right. Don't deprive us of our rights. If you are giving aid to other states, why not to run and love you? Why not to the other states that are not ruled by your party? They have the right also to help people who are poor and can get better treatment. They don't want anything else. If they are deprived, how do you think that they will progress? Now look at Jammu and Kashmir. Since 83, from the time of Mrs. Gandhi, when she gave scheduled tribe to Ladakhis and then gave it to the Gujars and Bakarwals. And she said herself that if the government of Jammu and Kashmir will write to us, we'll give it to also the Pahadis who have got the same situation in the state. It wasn't done in recent. In this house, it was King Zai announced that we will give Pahadis the scheduled tribe. Now the trouble is here, which I want our members to know, all these things to know. The fear in the Gujar and Bakarwals is that it is what their quota is, that will be cut. And Paharis are asking also, no, give us quota, but not cut their quota. So we have got another tragedy coming in our state. The tragedy of dividing people again. How long are you going to divide us on religion, on languages, on these things? How long? How long are we going to be fighting each other? How will you fight the battles if the nation is not strong inside? You cannot beat your enemy unless the nation is strong inside. The people are happy inside. If people are not happy, you cannot fight a battle. You cannot win the war. Therefore, think of that. As the minister very kindly said, 
Nobody lasts forever. No power lasts forever. Power comes and goes. It is what people will remember. It is what you did. How good you did and how bad you did. That is what should be remembered. A lot of good things were done. I will not deny that. But then don't take a part where you will bulldoze everything which is good. Every state wants to progress. I am a state which is surrounded by enemies, yet together to fight them. They announced when they removed 370 that 370 was responsible for terrorism. Now 370 went many years ago. Yet yesterday, two innocent people were shot dead in Sinidara town. Who do they hold responsible? Is it 370 or is it their rule? They are saying all these things every time. All the time they say, we removed 370. What a great things we have done. But where have you achieved the hearts of the people? Where you achieved the love of the people? You deny us election. For the last five years you have denied us what is our right by the constitution of India. You announced recently that you will hold elections to the panchayats, to the town area committees, to the municipalities. And then suddenly in five days, you remove that order. Are we not part of India? Are we from some foreign nation? That you deny us our basic right? That we can govern ourselves? How long? How long are you going to do this? Give us our right, constitutional right, so that we can move forward with the nation as people are moving. Nobody is against anyone. We want to progress. We want to move to and forward. With all these states, we want to move forward. But if you deny those states that are not part of you, you make them bow. And if you don't bow, we will see to it. You remember? I remind these people. You remember, sir? When the Home Minister in Karnataka, before the election, he said, if you don't vote for us, we will see to it that we'll cut your final. Do you remember? It's exactly what is happening. How long are you going to deny people their right? Do you want a strong India or do you want a weak India? Decide. Do you want a strong India? Then for God's sake, don't consider opposition as enemies. Consider opposition as friends of the nation. The opposition is essential, essential for the country to remain on the straight path. I remember as chief minister, and I had more than two thirds majority, and some members of another party came to see me and said, we want to join you. I said, for God's sake, don't join us. Remain there, because if we go wrong, you will tell us where we are wrong. If we are that proof majority and nobody says that you are wrong, then you cannot guide people to the right direction. Today, Prime Minister himself announces that opposition is important. Then for God's sake, let opposition live. In the parliament, they are not able to speak. Parliament is not meant only for one side you think. Parliament is meant to discuss, debate, and achieve something which is good for the nation. None of us who sit in the parliament want India to fail. We all want India to be strong in every way. But that cannot be done unless you allow opposition to exist, to survive, and to progress. To Kerala Chief Minister, I'd say thank you, sir for calling this meeting so that nation can realize where we stand. We are not enemies of the nation. We are friends of the nation. We want nation to survive and nation to grow. 
We want to rise to such heights that no nation has ever risen. But for God's sake, treat us that way. That is all we want. We want you to treat us as friends of the nation. God bless this nation. May this nation progress. And may this communal harmony continue to stand. I'm a Muslim. I'm proud to be a Muslim and I'm proud to be an Indian Muslim. This is what we want. We want all of us, whether you're a Hindu, you're a Sikh, you're a Muslim, you're a Christian, Buddhist or whatever you are. We all want to live together in harmony, in understanding. My own religion tells me, tells me, don't oppose that fellow's God. For if you oppose his God, and he says something about your God, will you bear it? Will you tolerate it? That is what my religion tells me. I love every religion, because every religion teaches you good things. No religion teaches you bad. But when you start dividing people and thinking in terms of differently, for God's sake, give that up. This nation will survive if we all live together in happiness and in pursuit of progress. That's what we want. Thank you, Chief Minister Sahib, for calling me. And God bless your moment. And may you all succeed in teaching this India towards a better future. And for today's unity, unity of purpose, that is what you have to show in this coming election. We must unite. Please unite, 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 unite. Thank you.